Something wrong with a hologram? Or is your face supposed to look like that? Suicide was deciding you could ignore your superiors. Let this be a lesson. Your only hope for survival is complete and utter loyalty. Sorry, I'm not quite sure where I am. Prejudice set to maximum. Hello and welcome to Keyboard Heroes, episode 48 on TGN.TV, Gamer TV. As always, I'm your host, Brooks, a.k.a. Sidor. And joining me, as always, the noob so nice, they named him twice. It's Stock, a.k.a. Callan. Callan, how are you? Yo, what's going on? Wow, you um, look marvelous. Thank you. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say that uh, that polar bear problem, uh, we Canadians, we take care of our business. Um, just, I took care of it. <laughs> everything's, everything's good. Um, you know, I named him Bill. Um, <laughs> my internet is cracking. It's going well. I mean, for Canadian internet. So uh, for all you trolls out there in the comments, don't worry. I look great now. You can see it all. <laughs> and uh, I killed that goddamn polar bear. Yep. Um, someone who will never have the opportunity to kill a polar bear. Only by ge geography, not by ability. It's Dimbo. Dimbo the mayor. How are you, buddy? I'm just glad to hear that you're not questioning my ability because if I want a polar bear killed, all I have to do is snap my fingers and I'm sure Sean, someone out there will go and kill me a polar bear. Maybe <laughs> yeah. I get Sarah, Sarah Palin, Palin to do it. Who knows? Oh, yeah. She would probably be your best I'm bet, good. At least, yeah, at least I'm in good. America. If I had lipstick on it. Anyways, um, no, I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing great, guys. How are you guys doing? Uh, good. Well, uh, why don't we dive right into this big week this week. As we started recording last week, we had um, the beginnings of the Rat Cool pandemic. Guys, this week we had a fun-filled week of killing zombies in SWOTOR. Oh, yeah. How I mean, how amazing was that? Zombies. Right? Um, I mean, pretty much all I focused on all week long. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so we'll jump in. We'll take a little bit of a look at the, uh, the news that we got from Bioware, uh, media outlet style. Republic style because they have no interest in releasing in, uh, Empire videos apparently. <laughs> so uh, we'll be right back right after this. Attention Republic citizens. The Health and Safety Council has updated its recommendations for dealing with extreme cases of rat ghoul plague. Anyone who has suffered a full body genetic mutation from rat ghoul plague is now considered a high risk threat to anyone nearby. As there is no cure for this disease once genetic mutation is complete, citizens are advised to employ lethal force to prevent further infections. If you are unable or unwilling to use lethal force, please contact Republic military representatives and they will assist you. So there you have it. The, uh, the Republic just more than willing to do your dirty work for you. If you're not willing to use... Dishes. Yeah, if you're not willing to use lethal force, call this guy. He'll do your dirty work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of interesting that, that it was a little bit of a twist on the... Uh, videos that we had uh, on the Empire side, a little sterner approach to the Empire side with uh, basically saying anyone who has been uh, in contact with the Raccoon virus, no longer a citizen of the Empire, lethal you force. To the back of the head. Yeah, lethal force is in full effect. Yeah, they, they even went as far to say, like, even if they outrank you and they say, no, don't kill me, that's an order. Yeah, they don't <laughs> hold that rank anymore. So just go ahead and help them to a bullet in the face yeah we don't care what your past service or rank was you're out yeah um, but i mean to be honest that's how i would deal with it too. i mean <laughs> give me a break there's a ragul outbreak like a zombie outbreak i'm like this is one of the things i'm waiting for to happen you know how world. like i'm prepared for i would it, so. deal, with, deal with it i would take the Death Star, and I would blow up Terrace and bye Ooh. bye Rackle. We're about 3,000 uh, years previous to that. And too they can't soon. blow up Tatooine too because. Soon? Yeah, too soon. <laughs> too, too soon. soon. You're going to have to freeze yourself, man. <laughs> you can't blow up Tatooine yet. It, it serves a campaign purpose later on. Later on. 
Otherwise, where would all the sand go? Where would all the sand go? Exactly. Um, but we did get a little bit of uh, an, a glimpse this week into just how the Rackle Plague affects the, the days and lives of the, the typical Empire citizen. <laughs> a plan of Tatooine remains the site of a major Rackle outbreak. Authorities believe the Rackle threat has spread to major urban areas. Fortunately, the Dark Council has invested in giant Rackle holograms as a training initiative, and we have deployed our finest people to the planet. Lethal force has been authorized against anyone suspected of carrying the Rackle virus. Aw oh, man, I don't feel so good. I knew I shouldn't have started that slave trade on Tatooine, but the boss assured me everything would be fine. Kind of think of it, I haven't seen him in a while. Maybe it's something I ate, like a, like a bad band of burger. But I haven't heard from my partner on Tatooine since he wasn't feeling well. Aw, oh, come on, what's, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, right. That, that's the worst that could happen. Oh, no, that's the burger. Oh god, I can't work like this. Uh, so, <laughs> apparently... <laughs> the, uh... Un unfortunately, we here at Keyword Heroes cannot afford the high quality voice actors that uh bioware can so. yeah yeah we're uh, a little bit of mom pop and pop show um this one over here is is the mom um <laughs> great I job love being guys the mom. <laughs> love but, being the mom yeah yeah it uh you know it, it doesn't affect everyone equally that's what we we found out this week um and sometimes a bad bantha burger feels a little bit like raccoon play <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, I gotta say that playing on a PvP server never felt more PvP than this week during this event. It's so much fun Slash just agree. ganking pubs all the time. Um, for those of you who don't know, there was one area where you had to go pretty much to start all of the daily quests. Um, I had so much fun just hanging out in that area, killing pubs, because they all came there. It was like a never-ending flow of pubs. And I... like. As the Volcar Highway server, as most servers, you really outnumber pubs. So, boom, <laughs> that was that was fun. Uh, Dimbo, how much fun do you have this week? What was your favorite part of it? Yeah, um, oh, my, my, my favorite part part of it probably was the green and black crystal. Um, that was pretty much number one goal behind the mini pets. Um, so focused on that. Um, I love the gear, the containment gear really really fun like i am going to take out all my mods and put it in the containment gear i don't care if it's light armor um well we never get hit anyway sweet. right so what does it matter yeah exactly and i yeah, even got a set true. for i i even got a set for kaleo um so she can rock that shit too yeah definitely uh, working on two sets for sure that's gonna come in handy and making some videos later we can just have yeah. as many containment suits as possible yeah but uh Damn, it was just it was that. just fun like i mean we even had people in the guild that their whole mi uh, mission they'd be done with their dailies i'm like what are you still doing on tattooing they're like oh i'm killing pups yeah it's like i know one guy in our guild like... he uh he there was like a raid for that formed sp with the specific purpose of making sure that the republics didn't kill the bantha in outlaws den wow. they were just they were just there wow. messing up their day See, you, can, you, you know that, that that that's fun um, when people are um, you know doing that when there is not yet. I mean, coming uh, TM soon uh, rewards for uh, you know kills in open world. So you know that they definitely you know they streamlined everything. I I saw things on Tatooine. Um, well, I saw Tatooine because uh, I didn't uh, I didn't even do Tatooine when I was Skipped leveling up. Skipped Tatooine. So, yeah, I got <laughs> did to not see level through Tatooine. Class all Tatooine. Tatooine. Um, and it was fantastic. Like I loved it. I mean, it's 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 way too damn big for one, but um, fantastic, great place for some open world. And they're gonna have to, uh, they're definitely gonna have to do more stuff like that. I think because uh, that that's gonna that's gonna what keeps this game uh, rolling. You know, fresh content like that. You could even call it dynamic content. Callan, do you do you think that the reason why maybe some of the planets are so big is so they can have events like this that they don't have to set it on top of places where people are already trying to quest? Because I mean, I was out mm. out there doing doing my dailies and I'd see level twenty eights and thirties running by. You know, how many of them did you if kill? You were... Uh, well, <laughs> a few. Yeah. I did kill a few, but then there was a couple that I just said, "Ah, you're not even uh, we're not worth it." But um, sometimes um, I wouldn't kill them. I would just chase them, put the fear of God in them a little bit. You know, like you need to know that I could kill you. I'm not gonna kill you because I'm not feeling especially debaggish now. But, but I will chase how, you just to make sure you know that I could. Imagine how stressful it'd be if you're trying to complete your story <laughs> quest and Bioware just set this 
world event right on top of your story quest place oh, and now man. now you can't get in there you'd go nuts yeah what i really yeah, like I, too is that a lot of the like the trash mobs that they were like kind of like not really the quest mobs for the dailies but they were like level 30 mobs they were they were a level appropriate for the for the planet right right so i know i thought um, that was cool yeah yeah that quest that um what, what's the quest called that takes you around all the different locations um you're collecting the uh for the ba- for the uh, ragul pet do you remember what that was called? Um, it's like the tracing the origins or something like that, or tracking right, the origins. Right. So when you're doing that quest, um, you've got that buff, right? You've got to keep the buff for an, you've got an hour. Um, no, you don't. Oh. Yep. No? Uh-oh. No, you didn't have to. Yeah, really? well, you had to get the buff to start yeah. the quest, at least. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, because I was going to say, like, if that's if you have to keep the buff the whole time, like, it's like, don't travel, don't do that, don't do this. Um, you just kill a bunch of republics, um, you know, during their quest, and it's like, oh my god, I have to run yeah. all the way back <laughs> to all of these. Is this really worth it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, and then you kill that motherfucker again. <laughs> you do it all over. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I would say, like, this is one of the things that has made me log in um, and just kept, kept me driving. Really cool. Um, like, even this weekend was the Diablo 3 stress test. And usually when I get something like that, I'm all about it. I want to get right in. I want to try and play, play, play. This time, I did all of my dailies and then logged on to uh, Diablo 3. Wow. You doing dailies? I'm saying, okay, here. This is what I'm saying. I wanted to celebrate um, the informal holiday that was on Friday. So think about it. It's a date calendar. Anyway, um, April 20th. Anyway, I wanted to celebrate that by just smashing things in, uh, just smashing things in Diablo three. And hey, welcome back. And I had to go do dailies first. Wow! So good fantastic. job, Bioware. Saw a tweet from uh, Stephen Reed saying they do have plans for things like this in the future, but I I don't think that they're going to be like a regular occurrence. Right. That's, but that's still okay. cool that they're going to um, come. Like you can't have one of these every week. It would be awesome if you yeah. could. But Daniel Erickson would just be like chained to a desk with a thousand oh, uh, typewriters and a yeah. thousand monkeys to make that kind of thing happen. I even saw something that said that they won't repeat this event again in the future. Well, they have no plans right now to repeat this event again in the future. Yeah, and that, that's pretty awesome because if all of a sudden, like, oh man, now we have another Rakul outbreak on uh, on Tatooine, like it kind of takes it away, uh, away from uh, the luster and, and it like de- it devalues getting the green lightsaber crystal, getting the containment gear. Right. Um, um, who do you think got the, had the cooler containment gear? Republic. You think so? Yeah, I didn't get I, a look I, at their I, stuff yet. I but... like the trooper uh, the trooper look. Um, it was pretty cool. The helmets were kind of cool. I really I like see. It. I really like the, uh, the the look we're seeing right now with the uh, the Empire look. Yeah, you know, it's, like, it's all right. Yeah, uh, that's more. It's more of an agenty style, though, right? So yeah, I just like the, I like the know, face mask. Be... I like the rebreather they got on there. Like, I think that's really cool. Yeah. The, although, granted, the um, the Republic is cool with it's got like the the, the full like shroud hazmaty suit on. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was uh, pretty great stuff. Yeah, um, I thought it was cool how you just come to the area and you get the quest. Like they just pop up. I thought that was great. Um, like we like we're area quests, this, this area the quests. area quest, yeah, and then quests like inside the area quest, quest yes. in the quest. It was amazing. Um, and you know what? The spreading of the radical disease um, was pretty cool touch. I think <laughs> that was fantastic. Just tons of man piles though, in, in the fleet. You know, just like waiting for people to blow up. And confirmed today, Warzone, you do blow up. Oh yeah, absolutely hilarious no like question. you're you're defending a door or an objective and just all of a sudden yeah well you know you're dead anyway that's terrible <laughs> uh Stock, actually you lost a over. war zone because of that but yeah <laughs> yeah see <laughs> someone that I was helping me defend exploded and then i'm a healer so the guy kill it killed me and it was it was not i haven't fun. checked forms but i'm wondering like if there's people raging about that you know those people that just well, love to rage I, it, it one they're forms and two people always rage so yeah the answer is yes yes oh, you'll awesome. you will find someone awesome. raging about that um, stock, you gotta fix your UI. Take out those empty buttons, man. Which ones? There, yeah, yeah, there's buttons here. Like you got like okay, four well, empty buttons there. Take them out. It, 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 I'm not right. using them right now. Eventually, I will. Or are you gonna get more skills at level fifty? That's where I put my cooldowns. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, I but there's three empty ones. Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> uh, Don't tell me how to run my life or my UI. Somebody else who is on cooldown is Bioware, and that's make new website on cooldown for now because bingo, bango, bongo, they've got uh, a new, brand new spanking website at swotor.com. Um, mm, 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 mm. I like I like the it new sure layout. Sure is pretty. It sure is pretty. Sure is pretty. Um, I like the new uh, the new logo. They've got uh, they've really taken the brand from the game and driven it throughout the the website. I mean, you got your uh, your quest bar here. You're like your little uh, codex entry button uh, for the about the game. Hollow Net gets the skill trainer. Uh, My Swotor kind of looks like your uh, your character sheet. Um, mm -hmm. Community is the the social uh, button, and then support gets your well your support button, your 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 menu button. <laughs> so um, uh, you know, really pretty. They've uh, they've kind of gone through um, and just kind of cleaned it up. It, looks it, it a looks, lot better. It looks a lot better. Uh, it, I've seen uh, people say that it runs a lot better on uh, on mobile devices as well. Yeah. So um, I don't know if it's still a ton of flash. Um, that used to just uh, it re used to really get me. On you my, know what else is phone. running better uh, since one point two came out is the actual um, game. Um, although load times are, for some reason are a bit longer for me, but actually the, the game looks better. It kind of runs a bit better. Um, I haven't been on Ilum yet, but um, I don't have to go there anymore, so I'm not worried <laughs> about it. Um, but like on the fleet, um, even because you know lots of people came back for one point two, so the fleet's been a little more busy. Um, but I mean, it hasn't been any increased lag, maybe even a little bit less. So. Uh, Except for uh, the Rackle thing going on where everybody uh, crowds around. Um, yeah, that's that's a little laggy, but um, definitely an improvement. Yeah, yeah. Well, the fleet's usually just laggy in general, right? So, I mean, yeah. kudos to Bioware for rolling out a brand new um, makeover on their website. It looks really good. Um, yeah. brand, speaking of brand new, we got a brand new Q&A this week. A couple of cool things that we found out. Um, Cameron Winston, uh, combat designer, who um, also, if you haven't uh, checked out the latest Nothing But Tour podcast on SWOTOR, uh, sorry, uh, youtube.com slash TGN SWOTOR, uh, they had an interview with uh, him as well. But he basically gave us a lowdown on how threat is calculated. So um, finally, yeah, point for point on damage. Um, and uh, it's also, welcome back, Dimbo. It's also. Um, Healing aggro is spread out equally uh, across all uh, targets currently in combat. Um, and reduction to threat is done on a, on a percent basage. So, I mean, yeah. it's kind of cool. I, I'm really looking forward to when we get threat meters and then I can really just troll the DPS in our, uh, our raid group who just yes. want to just go out there and mash their uh, their trinkets and then just spam lightning, their lightning, yeah, lightning, yeah. lightning lightning oh something's hitting me well no I want to AOE through. everything at the beginning and then wonder why things hit me at the beginning you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah he, he you knows. know who you are you know um so also um, we found out uh, a little bit from Georg Zoller this week um, where he said um, in response to why it doesn't war uh, ranked war zones have um augment slots on it and he basically just said that you can get the the augmented gear on the gtn and uh, but he also he also made what might be the most uh interesting point of the entire thing and that is it is also worth noting that we will be adding a way to add an augment slot to existing modifiable armor Ooh. in future game updates Get down. Uh, yeah. Dimbo, this may be, you may be our, the happiest person I've ever heard uh, or ever known for this, this, this coming. I mean, this is huge for you. You're, you're excited about this. Yeah, yeah, because this is what I suggested from the beginning is, is instead of making it to where you crit craft it and stuff, um, make it to where you can just mod it yourself, right? Uh, but so I'm excited about this. Think of the money it'll save if you have to pull all those all those slots out. I mean, all your armoring slots and enhancements and everything out out of your gear. If you can just open up a trade window with somebody or buy an item and right click it and then click click it on your chat chest piece and it auto puts an augment augment slot. Because my point was, okay, well now in order to get the best gear, you have to raid, yeah. get the crit craft piece, take all the stuff out of the raid gear and put it in your crit craft piece, and so. 
you kind of lose. So wearing the raid gear will never be the best gear unless you aren't they going to have pet like they do with the PvP gear where you can buy the pattern and then crit craft the pattern and stuff. But that's so many, it's too many extra steps. Yeah. So, for so me, here, here's my thing is, do you think that they could have done this right away? And they're like, mm, we need to get some of the money out of this economy. You got to crit craft everything to start with. Sorry, guys. We, we, we'll get it out later. Really? Don't worry. But think? for now, we need to get some credits out of this, out of this economy. I don't know. But well, didn't, didn't they say that they wanted everyone to have... Like, that's why stuff costs so much is because they wanted to be credit sinks, but they wanted, may, I mean, that's why they added the third daily hub was to make it more easier for level 50s to get money because they, didn't they say, like, you know, some percentage had less than, like, 40,000 credits and they wanted it to be more 400, than 400,000, I think. Okay. Which is, if you have less than 40,000 credits at level 50, you are kind of poor, but less than 400,000, you're getting by. I don't have 400,000 yeah, 400, credits. Yeah, that's, like, that's kind of where I sit most of the time. Yeah. Um, I will say something about pulling the mods out and stuff. I'm a big, uh, if anybody uh, knows me, they know I'm a big appearance person. I love the way my character looks. So does everybody, I guess. But um, I went to the extreme and I... Wait, uh, everyone loved the way you looked or everyone loves the way they look? Uh, maybe both. Because I, I wasn't all the way, all, always a big fan of the way you looked. Okay, well, I mean... Uh, <laughs> I've, I've never been a big fan of the way stock looks. But... Well, besides that... Especially uh, last so... week on the podcast. Yep, I looked terrible. <laughs> Remember, I killed the polar bear. Leave it alone, man. Just leave it alone. Um, no, but recently, um, I took the Sith Warrior uh, Colony helmet, um, and I slotted in my uh, my uh, Rakata pieces into it, um, and it looks fantastic. I think you look like an evil robot. It's amazing. You're not a man anymore. You're you're more machine. Exactly. Man. Anyway, um, you lost so your soul, Callan. You lost your here's, soul. Here's the thing. Um, I. <laughs> I accidentally um, made a mistake. I pulled mods out um, of both pieces of gear, which cost me 60,000 credits, um, when really I could have just placed them over top. Yeah. Uh, don't do that, people, because I'm poor. <laughs> Helpful and, tips from yeah. Callum the Noob. Um, but I'm really happy about this because I love that the gear is now you can look the way you want and doesn't matter, um, you know, because the PvP gear... Um, that we just had, and like when the game launched, for it was terrible. We had talked about it last week, so I'm really happy that I can put um, anything together. It's going to look great, um, and they really needed to do this. So I'm glad that they stepped up and, and got it done. Yeah, I early. ripped out the the call me mods out of my chest piece and went from ninja to back to my uh, agent cloak looking type thing. Yeah. Um, Again, here's something else. I, though, I think it cost that... me 160 thousand, but. That was a lot. Worth God. it. God. Yeah. Um, unify, uh, unify uh, helmet. I don't know. There's something weird with that. I put yeah. a gold Work in on. progress. Not maybe uh, as intended. Maybe you could take a look at that. Uh, Did you submit a ticket? Moving on. <laughs> uh, I just did. Yeah. Okay, Virtual good. ticket. Virtual ticket. Yeah. Watch my watch my podcast and take my feedback, Bioware. If you could go ahead yes, and do please. that, that'd be great. Um, well, we also got a little uh, um, update from Gabe Amatangelo. Somebody wanted a little clarification on uh, how interceptions work in Hotball. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but uh, people aren't really sure. It seems like it's mostly random. And, uh, <laughs> you know... It we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Gabe Amatangelo, who is the PvP and game designer, he says the player closest to the center of the landing spot circle who is not stunned or mezzed will receive the ball regardless of what team they're on. So, um, you know, great to find that out. I, we always kind of wondered, like, how did that guy get the thing? It seems like I'm standing closer, but I mean, yeah, like, it's, it's probably it like just, a lag did, thing anyway. But it did seem very random. You have never seen a more epic hotball interception than this one right here. So Buddy is going to throw to his buddy up at the top here. Goes, can't get the ball out. Throws the ball finally. And oh, oh boom, intercepted. Can you believe it? <laughs> there is no way that you could find this. What the heck? Um, I would just be raging if that happened. Um, no, you know what? I would be really, really excited. I'd be like, that, I'd be like these guys. Um, that was that was fucking awesome. That was epic. It was uh, pretty epic. But they were they were doing some good cursing at that guy for sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean that, that was uh, that's pretty much it for the biggest points of the Q and A. I think, at least according to stock. Well, 
I, I just saying, I, I think the funny part about that statement um, is that he says, if you're not stunned or mezzed, and I mean, just to troll a little bit, I mean, when are you not stunned <laughs> in a hotball match? I mean, let's let's be honest, here, especially if you're, if you're near the ball. Well, right? hopefully Jeez, that your, shit, your resolve so. bar will be full and your stun break is still up <laughs> yeah, and you can yeah, break yeah. the fuck out of that. Because that works. <laughs> I, I still don't think you know how resolve works, but anyway, moving on. Um, we also, we tried to have a guest on this week. Um, did not work so well, um, but we figured that we used her site so much over the course of the, of the Rack Cool Dailies and in the past even on a couple of our audio podcasts that we would uh, do a little community spotlight here on uh, Dolphy's Healing Corner. Um, guys, I love this site and she's Canadian. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, we've got, Boo, we, yeah. we doubly need to, uh, to promote did this site. Did you find site. out where she's from? No, nah, I didn't ask. Uh, Canada. Wow. Don't worry about it. What do I care? We're all Canadians. What does it matter where we're, we're from? <laughs> so anyway moving on um she had uh just was basically updating this um this post for the rack event in real time you know updating the the dailies as they are added um she's she's really good about adding things from the pts too when 1.2 was coming up she was putting out stats on all the gear um stats on uh, like the cost of things you know just breaking it down piece by piece so um, dedication yeah yeah and a little bit of unemployment i think but that's neither here nor yeah, there yeah i mean it's <laughs> yeah it's i Canada. definitely i definitely used her guide um to oh, help yeah. me get the the mini pet where you had to go find the 12 fragments and stuff it was a little out of order but um she definitely does great work over there really trolling her yeah really? i'm just saying um well i mean in all fairness it was it, they were in the numerical order and then there was also saying you know you can do it this way like and it might some, be faster so some user error there I don't yeah know. yeah um but i mean like she's got a the new companion um uh, update as well. I, I was taking a look at this earlier and it looks like it's uh, a pretty good time. I'm always wow. a little confused as to what, ah. yeah, as to what uh, gifts to give what companions and... Um, Check out these metrics, Georg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you like plus signs, you're going to love this chart. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, she does a lot of great work over there. So check her out over at uh, Dolphy.net. We'll put a link in the uh, show description below. Um, but you should definitely head over there. She's also got a site here that we thought was pretty cool called Ask Mr. Robot Character Builder and Item Database. So I've already got that loaded up over here. And um, yeah, it's, they've got a, a, a few pretty cool things. So uh, they've got a character builder. You can basically go in and, uh, you know, build a character, continue where you left off. I'm pretty sure I'd already put in one to start with. So it's basically like the the back end or the, the, the beginnings of um, an armory, basically. I've got mm-hmm. my side or Volker Highway, level 50 operative here. Uh, it's got my skill tree in here, 0 of 7 data, uh, 67 datacrons. That's not right, but it's probably <laughs> closer than... Uh, than it's definitely than, uh, close. Yeah, not, 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 uh, not that far off, that's for sure. But uh, no, guys, check out both those sites, swotor.askmrrobot.com and dolphy.net. We'll put those links in the show description below. Uh, but as always, we're always looking for stuff that the community is doing. We love community-driven content. So if you've got something, send us an email at kbh at tgn.tv or tweet at us at keyboard underscore heroes. And we'd love to get your content on the show and uh, put a little community spotlight on it. Because, um, yeah, especially in the case of Dolphy, because we use the shit out of her site. Well, it's a great site. I mean, and if you'll pay attention to um, what you were showing there with the uh, um, where, where all the gear was listed, it, it actually lists better than the GTN in the actual game. So <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's fantastic. like what doesn't list the, the better than the GTN. Although true, it is, I, I'd say it is a little bit better now, but, uh, yeah, you know. Um, so, yeah, there were, I mean... That's, uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the Community Spotlight. Stock, why don't you give a little update on uh, the Guild Headquarters and uh, where, where we're, how we're doing over there on Volker Highway and Keyboard Heroes? Um, sure, man. Um, <laughs> I think that... Is this, is this we... too on the spot for you or what? No, no, no. I mean, we're... Um... I love the camera. What are you talking about? Um, <laughs> no, um, we're, we're doing all right. I mean, um, we're still trying to put together a second raid group, so... Soa down... Uh, that that happened too. Yeah. Um, we were just gonna lie. I think we had decided we were just gonna say, you know what? Let's just say we got so. Down. If anyone asked, um, we did. It. Yeah, for sure. Um, but uh, so after I think with post one point two, um, we kicked Soa's ass. Um, I think it was uh, the second. Was it uh, one wipe and then we rolled it, or was it two wipes? No, just one. No, we didn't. 
We didn't wipe at all. Nah, we had one. We had one. Okay. I don't um, remember. But, it, so it uh, must not have been that good. I don't know. I feel like they might have tweaked it. I didn't check the patch notes. Uh, oh, yeah. There was, there was definitely bug fixes. There Although, was interesting, definite... interesting bug fix that we didn't really understand. Uh, that was uh, part of the game. Now, when you're doing ancient pylons, um, you like you you spin your your button and then you have to press you know confirm, confirm. Uh, big big confirm button in the middle of the panel. We didn't see it. We didn't know it was there. We were just kind of rolling yeah. the way we'd always roll. And we're like, what and the fuck? This is broken. This is so bad. <laughs> Bioware this. Bioware that. I can't believe you. And we're like, oh maybe I'm I'm just gonna go read patch notes. Maybe there's something in there. Yep. Yeah. It turns out if you just do what they say to do, <laughs> you'll do fine. It's good. You're good that way. Um, yeah, so we were pretty happy to get Soa down, and um, like I said, still looking for some more members. So if you're level fifty, um, even if you're not level fifty, you want to come, you want to come no, on no, over. If, yeah, if you're not level, level 50, up with us, we'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll love to have you. Even if you're not on the Volker Highway server, come on over. As long as you're world. not a douchebag, because yeah, that's, that's we're not we big on douchebags. We have yeah, uh, and we're gaming. even we're even looking into um, doing like if you're fresh fifty and stuff. Uh, we want to get some people geared and ready to yeah. move into hard, hard mode stuff. So we're looking at maybe yeah. an off raid night um, to do like normal modes and stuff um, to kind of get people geared up and get them ready for hard mode. So then we can get you know their second raid raid group moving even faster. You know, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, come on over and check us out on uh, the Volker Highway server if you're interested. You can uh, shoot myself side or a tell, give a uh, Callan a tell, or uh, shoot Dimbo a tell, or uh, put yourself away, stock. Um, I'm just saying that's me. Yeah. So, okay. Well, I guess yeah. that's fine. There I am. Uh, or <laughs> now you look even worse. <laughs> uh, you can't you can't rip the mods out of that helmet. Um, <laughs> or send uh, Atron a tell as well, and he will uh, will hook you guys up. Or you could just go to www.keyboardheroes.ca. You could just say that. That ca and uh, fill out an application there. I do not have that uh, that up, or I would put that bad boy on uh the old the old okay, screen you don't, it's it's gonna be okay it's gonna so be it's you, gonna be okay you need me to sing keyboard the heroes time, there uh, come is. on over join the keyboard heroes and fight for the sith empire uh open recruitment on all classes roles uh definitely looking to fill out a new uh ray group so except for tanks except, except for, tanks. for tanks yeah tank apps always closed if you ask dog because he, he will say that <laughs> because he's a tank and he wants all the tank gear um but turns out bounty hunter gear drops all the time so if even if you're I don't know uh, what's up with that yeah i do not like it's even starting to bug me and i'm yeah. pretty happy about it for uh you know my full ricotta set but uh for you that, and both your bounty hunter companions i mean yeah, now that my companions and me are fully geared, probably in Ricotta, <laughs> every time it drops, it's like, yeah, you know what, guys, that is kind of annoying. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, um, that's almost going to do it for us. Special announcement, uh, next week we will have an interview with uh, Senior Community Coordinator for Bioware, David Bass. So make sure you tune back in next week for episode 49 and check that out. Stock, I know you want to give a couple of shout outs um, just to a, a few community members and then uh, we'll uh, we'll wrap it up and get out of here. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, as always, um, Vader's Girl, thanks for the uh, for the comments, the retweets. Uh, you're a big fan, we, we love you. Um, thank you for uh, doing all that for us. Um, as always, guys, just leave some comments in the video description below. Um, we usually keep pretty good tabs on it. We'll reply to you, um, even if you troll us, you know, whatever. Um, we're cool with that. Um, hey, but, and if you uh, troll us, it might even get it might even get your uh, your issue fixed. Because look at look at Callan now. He killed that exactly. polar bear. Exactly. I'm looking great now, right? Yeah, he, polar bear. I well, mean, I mean you look better than last week. I don't know if you look great. Yeah, that's but true. no no amount um, of internet's gonna fix that, right? <laughs> No, it's Canada. <laughs> um, our lines go through ice. Um, yeah, so so yeah, like uh, like I said, you know, come on over, give us a like if you actually like the video, it'd be great, and um, yeah, check out the playlist. We got a couple uh, videos on there, so uh, we're looking forward to uh, doing it again next week because it's going somewhat okay now. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, uh, we're ironing rolling. out those kinks. Yeah. So, uh, Dimbo, why don't you give us a, an update on? Uh, Dimbo the Trooper, and tell people where they can find you on the interwebs if they should so choose. Sure. Um, Dimbo the Trooper. I uh, don't know if I said this last week or not, but I started writing again as far as um, uh, writing past Terrace. Um, Terrace is coming to an end soon. Both of the parts are written and finishing, uh, fin finished and sent over to the editor. So I'm hoping to actually get those both po posted like uh, concurrently. 
you know, like maybe at the same time or within a day of each other. Boys, child, boys, boys, child let's, uh, you can troll each other. <laughs> the same day um, might be the day that hell freezes over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> um, but I do write uh, fan fiction uh, about a trooper named Dimbo and his adventures in Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, Not if it doesn't get edited. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I, moving I, on. Dimbo, where can people find you? I write it, you know. But anyways, um, uh, dimbotrooper.wordpress.com. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at dimbo56 and at dimbo trooper. Um, come check us out. Keywordheroes.ca, Volker Highway sir, 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 server. And yeah, if you leave comments and stuff, just say, hey, tell Dimbo I said this because I don't know how to view the comments. So. <laughs> You have to scroll, scroll, scroll down, and scroll down man. You just scroll, scroll down. down the page, bro. What, what? Where's the scroll? Wheel this button? is why we don't let you do anything. <laughs> yeah, this is why. This is what. Yeah. <laughs> this All is right. why we, you can't have nice things. Yeah. <laughs> Callan, uh, tell people where they can find you on the interwebs. Um, Twitter at Callan KBH. Um, you can email me callankbh at gmail dot com. Uh, and uh, that's that's pretty much the only place. Obviously, um, you can find all of our shows in the playlist that. Uh, youtube.com slash tgn swotor make sure you check out nothing gaming um and uh brotherhood of swath or sorry yeah. swath radio as well they've got their shows uh going and um they're buddies of ours on the Volcar highway server so uh check those out and give them some likes as well and that's uh pretty much it had fun guys uh thanks for uh thanks for having me on the show again yeah um, well i mean if you if your video didn't smarten up then you you are uh, walking off, a thin eh? line wow <laughs> so it's just gonna be you in this uh, picture of dimbo here yeah yeah it sounds it's, like a good show it's just me and and dimbo me wow. and dimbo me, me and dimbo brutal <laughs> so, so i'll be starting a new show if you want to come over to <laughs> <laughs> it's called terrible internet at rs anyway if you want to get a hold of me you can Damn find me God. at sidor kbh on twitter if you want to get a hold of guild you can find us at keyboard underscore heroes on twitter uh send us an email at uh kbh at tgn.tv um find us on the tgn swotor channel at youtube.com slash tgn swotor uh, you can also find us on itunes at least for now and um, <laughs> you can you also lately? check us out at www.keyboardheroes.ca um, for dimbo the mayor callan and myself sidor thank you for watching episode 48 <laughs>